So good morning, good afternoon, or good evening for our host from uh, uh, Dubai and the Maldives. Uh, we are here today uh, presenting Arabian Adventure, the DMC, not only for Dubai, but now with the Maldives, actually. We have the operation manager for the Maldives Award with us right now. And then uh, Sebastiano and Iris from the Arabian Adventure team. Huh? So we have a lovely 30 minutes webinar ready for us. Again, thank you all for your participation and following all our webinar. Sebastiano Award, I let you present. Thank you so much, Dominique. And thank you to everyone who has uh, logged in today to hear all about Arabian Adventures Maldives. Um, as Dominique mentioned, my name is Sebastiano, Associate Director of Sales for our UAE and Maldives sales. We also have Iris, my colleague on the call, um, our Senior Sales Manager for the Americas. And we have Howard, our fantastic GM, um, who operates in the Maldives. So he is the one working with the team, meeting your clients, coming to the beautiful destination. As Dominique mentioned, we work very closely with Dominique Debate Collection for the United Arab Emirates and Dubai, but we are now expanding our collaboration with Dominique for all of our exciting um, itineraries in the Maldives. Mm -hmm. So just for some of you who perhaps haven't worked with Arabian Adventures before in Dubai or the um, or Abu Dhabi, um, here's just a little bit of a background about our company, about our DMC, and this is relevant for all of our destinations. So we are a niche luxury orientated um, DMC. However, we are part of the wider Emirates airline group, which comes with a lot of benefits, which I'll explain throughout the presentation. We've been around for over 30 years. So when it comes to our operations, we know what we're doing and we are truly destination experts, whether that be in the United Arab Emirates or the Maldives. We consistently win lots of beautiful awards, which we're very proud of. We are the only DMC who is preferred by Virtuoso, Signature, um, Traveller Made. So we get the various luxury social benefits when booking with our hotel partners. And we have incredible 24-7 um, in-destination support across all of our destinations. So your support on the ground, I always like to start with this slide. Um, this is just a small part of our team, but we have a large team across the United Arab Emirates and the Maldives. These guys are your dedicated North America reservations team with big smiles. Um, so when you are sending us over the request, it's nine times out of 10, you're gonna be dealing with one of these lovely people putting the itinerary together for you. I know Dominique, you've been engaging with them a lot over the past year. Um, and they're really great when it comes to detailed itineraries in Dubai, Abu Dhabi, Maldives and beyond. Um, so yeah, we look forward to hearing from you and their email contacts are there in the top corner. So we always like to say Dubai is your gateway to the world, but on this occasion, it's gonna be your gateway to the Maldives. On the left, you can see all of the hubs that we have with Emirates Group in North America. And actually this map is a little outdated now because we've got the Montreal flight back. We have a Vancouver flight. Um, we even have a new flight now in Bogota, in Colombia. So really it is easy for you to get all the way to Dubai on an Emirates flight. And then of course we have four flights a day from Dubai to the Maldives. So really the Maldives has never been closer. So now we will welcome you to the Maldives. So for those of you who haven't been or are curious about the destination, it is over 1,200 coral islands forming 26 atolls. So an atoll is more or less a collection of smaller islands. There are over 170 stunning resorts in the Maldives, of which Arabian Adventures has direct contracts with over 130. So really the options are endless. Um, the Maldives, something we absolutely love about the Maldives is that it is considered an all year round destination. So whether your clients are coming for some winter sun or they're coming in the summertime, nine times out of 10, the weather is going to really be really, really beautiful. Um, the Dubai season is typically from beginning of October until June. So a lot of clients will travel from October to June just to then combine their stay with a few nights in Dubai or Abu Dhabi. So when you land into Mali, um, the resorts are accessible by boat, seaplane, or a domestic flight. 
uh, we'll be speaking more to you about this, but this is kind of really important when engaging with our team about your clients and your clients' needs. Do they want to have that iconic seaplane experience? Do they want something convenient um, and just take a speedboat to one of the closer resorts? Or are they looking for something super remote and far away from the airport area and they're willing to take a domestic air transfer? So your arrival experience. So we have, as I mentioned, our general manager, Howard, on the call. So Howard and his team are the ones orchestrating and organizing your client's experience as soon as they disembark from the Emirates flight and touch foot into Male Airport. Um, Howard, I'll go over these points, but please interrupt me at any point if I miss something out. But basically okay. what we do in Maldives is we provide a really extensive service for your clients, um, hold-handing them, offering 24-7 on the destination. We have a premium meet and greet um, service in Male. Um, Howard, maybe you want to elaborate on the meet and greet that we do at, at the airport for your client for the clients. Yeah, so basically, I mean, uh, of course, Maldives being a fairly as uh, Mali uh, airport being a fairly congested and small airport and so on, it's uh, it's a little easy to get lost if you don't necessarily have the right support and so on on hand. So that's where we coming. We have quite a team. We have also dedicated desks and so on for Arabian Adventures where basically our our team will find you, make sure you're hydrated, you so you get you get water, you get your cold towels, you will get and plus if there is any information and so on regarding your transfers and things like that, because of I mean once you land, there's a lot also that can change because of the weather patterns and so on. So basically there is someone to make sure that you are okay, then you that you will make sure that you will catch your transfers on time and manage that entire situation without too much hassle. So basically what we do is take away the, 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 the worry that you may have, especially when you're coming to an exotic destination like the Maldives. Yeah, perfect, exactly. We're there to give you the peace of mind to make sure that when your clients are coming to Male, there is actually somebody there to greet them um, because all the resorts, as you know, they are far away from the actual international airport. Perfect, thank you so much, Howard. So, um, as I mentioned to you guys before, we do have 130 plus direct contracts. Of course, there are some iconic properties that we love to sell that our America's travel advisors typically request. And um, I put a couple of them on the slide for you here, and they're all in different atolls. So we'll go by each atoll and explain kind of what the selling point of that particular atoll is. So, one of our top sellers for US market is the Suneva Jani, really popular for families. And this atoll you find in the Nonu, um, this resort, sorry, you find in the Nonu atoll. So Howard, what's unique about the Nonu atoll that a client must stay there for? Oh, you're just on mute. Sorry about that, yeah. So one of the key things about uh, Nunu Atoll is, uh, so in, in general, of course, all the atolls have an abundance of marine life. I mean, one thing about the Maldives uh, is it's extremely rich marine life, which also because they, the, the destination practices, one of the most uh, uh, significant sustainable fishing methods. So this basically helps actually the marine life thrive rather than anything else. So just so that you know, I mean, uh, you don't get uh, net fishing, you don't get long line fishing, it's line and hook. And this really is a key factor that helps the marine life. So in Nunu at all, which is also known for spinner dolphins, for a lot of uh, uh, activity with dolphins and so on, it really helps. Nunu at all also has a lot of seagrass, which attracts a lot of turtles and so on. So the, you're, you're, you're very likely to swim and be and see turtles and so on, which is also one of the reasons you have a lot of the very uber luxury resorts like Sorevajani and all set in Nunu at all. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. And then we have the stunning Jawali um, in the Ra Atoll. So again, it's North Maldives. Would you say it's similar to the Nunu in terms of the marine life or is there something different in Ra? 
So basically, the the it's it's side by side. The two atolls are almost somewhat side by side in a way. Uh, so in Ra atoll, of course, it's also very good for fishing. So if okay. you if you're looking at deep uh, deep water fishing and so on, Ra is very good for that for that uh, for that sort of uh, uh, for that sort of uh, excursion that you can run and so on, and it's quite popular. Ra also has some very special. Uh, dive spots and all but of course dive spots also you you know you are, are across the Maldives and so on but uh, yeah so and you and again uh, especially the Manta Ray sightings and so on in Ra is very it, you it's a, it's a you have a really high probability okay amazing um, and then next we have the Kafu Atoll and I put one and only Rithi Ra as our probably our top selling property and then I put a little boat here which, Howard, you can elaborate on, but there's a reason why you see yeah. a little bit here. Yeah, so Kafu Atoll or Male Atoll is basically, it's where you have the highest concentration of resorts in the Maldives purely because that is also where the international airport is located. So basically, anything within a like a 75 to, or 60 to 75, 80 minute boat ride, or 80, will, there will be boats that will run to those resorts. And to a lot of uh, resorts, they prefer to be closer to Mali because, it, you know, it gives you quicker access, cheaper access, and so on. So you have the highest concentration. And also with the development of tourism, it was uh, in the early stages, in 1972, it was easier to basically develop uh, uh, resorts within a speedboat distance because actually yeah. seaplanes and all came in the early 90s. So until then, there was a lot of logistic uh, uh, issues that needed to be overcome, which was a lot easier to do it in Carrefour at all. But I mean, yeah. yes, you have some stunning resorts in Carrefour at all as well. The next, I think this is Dominique's favorite resort. We have the beautiful Nautilus Maldives. Dominique, you can talk about this one if you like. You know it so well. You know it better than me. <laughs> uh, this is on the bar at all. Thank you very much, my dear. And we're only uh, 30 minutes, uh, 20 minutes of flight from Vela. Or from Mali, you take another flight to Tarandavu, and it's 20 minutes flight, and then only 20 minutes boat. And we own the boats, and we own the flights, the plane. Eh? Voilà. So... Only 26, so I guess it's still small. You can see one of the beautiful bedrooms, so 36 units over water or on the beach uh, and three restaurants. Thank you. <laughs> thanks, Dominique. Thank Howard, should we thanks. buy her for our Maldives team? She's quite good, there's right? Also, there's one more thing that I like to say about uh, the Nautilus and so on, what is there. In Bayatol, you also have the UNESCO biosphere area, which uh, Nautilus has access to. So it's called Hanifa Bay. And it's a it's an area which is absolutely thriving with extremely rich marine life and so on. Of course, diving and so on is uh, is uh, controlled. But of course, if you're staying at Nautilus and all, they will make sure that uh, you can snorkel in that area and all. And it's a really special experience to do snorkel in that area. Perfect. Thank you, Howard. And then last but not least, we also do very well with the Comrade Maldives, which you find in... Alif Dalu um, or the Male Atoll, as Howard called it before. Um, so I'll move on to the next slide. Other key properties that we work with. So in Nunu, we have Vela Private Islands. Um, this is a very particular resort, um, popular with our clients who are looking for maximum exclusivity um, and to be further away from the international airport. Ah, uh, Howard. Um, I always like the way you describe the Ritz-Carlton and Farry Islands. So please tell our listeners what's so special about this particular area. Yeah, so so basically that area was initially a, a, a large lagoon area, which then became, which was quite the sandbank. And then, of course, it has been fully reclaimed. And it's now really an extreme. I mean, it is, once you get there, it is very hard to believe that just a couple of years ago, that was merely a sandbank because the vegetation is now extremely rich in 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 that in in that it's called the Fari Island. So there are four islands in that area, and all four have an extremely rich vegetation. Uh, it's it's you know the 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 make of the 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 way the islands are have have basically 
settle the beach extremely quickly because it's not usual that uh, usually the reclaimed islands have settled beach as quickly. But here it is settled well and it is actually extremely, extremely beautiful. It looks so. <laughs> then we have St. Regis in Dalu, which is a new hotel, a new resort which opened up in the last couple of years. This is very popular with our US clientele. Um, we have the Como Malifushi, which is popular. Um, so the Como Malifushi, Howard, is you can clearly see on the map, is much further south. What would you say it is, is the yes. between south and north of Mali? Right. Yeah, so basically one of the things in Como Malifushi is, first of all, in that atoll, it is the only resort. And that atoll is about the, the, the longest distance in the south that a seaplane would go to. You know, so you, you're kind of stretching it. But uh, the the fact that it is the only resort, the fact that, uh, you know, so it's a, uh, the, 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 it's, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a much more unexplored, but special area. And also the, the, the more south that you go, you will find a lot of the islands and so on tend to be a lot more richer in their, in their vegetation in and and so on because a lot of these islands in the deep south have been around for a long time and that has allowed a lot of the, the ground and so on to be a lot more fertile compared to some of the other and so on and as a result so i mean it's it's there is something very special in an island when it has a very rich vegetation when it's a very yeah. naturally rich vegetation it is it is it really adds to that kind of robinson crusoe you know, I'm far away from everything experience. And that's pretty much the same for the Six Senses Lamo, which is oh, yes. very remote, very, very remote. But we do get quite a lot of requests. Um, and we actually just confirmed a fantastic booking for their retreat, their three bedroom villa. Um, yeah. And the client specifically wanted the retreat because they were like, we want to feel like we are away from humanity, if that makes sense. They want to be somewhere super remote, super exclusive. Yes. So Sometimes the further away you are from Mali, even though logistically it takes longer than a speedboat and, and the resort's closer to the airport, but you do have that more rustic experience, as you were saying. Yes, yes. And the thing is, uh, the, 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 the further you go, especially if you're staying longer, you re I mean, you really learn or you really start to enjoy the, 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 the beauty of doing nothing and yeah. being pampered. I think we all like a bit of that. So, sounds good. Oh, yeah. So, next point is, I mentioned all about these beautiful resorts. Of course, there are so many um, that we work with that the presentation isn't long enough to include. But what's the benefits of booking your hotel through Arabian Adventures, whether it's in the Maldives, Dubai, or Abu Dhabi? So, as I mentioned before, we are the only DMC affiliated with key programs. So, Virtuoso Signature Traveler Made. We have a very extensive hotel network. We contract all of our hotels direct, so we don't work with third parties. Based on that, we have very competitive rates where commissions actually go beyond 20%, but I put 15 to 20% to give you an average idea. But um, we, especially in the Maldives, because the contracts that we have are very competitive, we see advisors applying 25% commission on their Maldives bookings. We have some hotels and resorts that guarantee us Virtuoso and signature benefits, or we even work with some resorts such as the Nautilus that give us uh, their own set of benefits that we can sell exclusively to our travel partners. And this one goes without saying, we really do have excellent relationships with our hotel partners across all of our destinations, which means when the booking is coming from Arabian Adventures to the hotel, the hotel will always flag it as a VIP and ensure those clients are treated super, super well. Just as an FYI, how can you work with us if you haven't worked with us before? So we do have the reservations team, the smiling team that I showed you before. You can reach them either on AA Region 1, that's our North America team, or we have AAPS, which is our Spanish and Portuguese speaking team, depending on your language preferences. We do have an online booking tool. So we have a tool where you guys can log on and you can see all of our rates. You can see all of our latest offers. Here, I've used the example of the Nautilus. So we have an exclusive offer with the beautiful Nautilus Resort. 
Um, and this is exactly what the team would be quoting for you manually, or you can go in and check yourselves. When I send you a follow-up, I will send you kind of a test credential for you to have a look at our booking tool and see how you like it. So back to the destination itself, um, you know, when you're booking your resort, you can then book excursions through Raven Adventures in the Maldives. Howard touched a lot upon diving, snorkeling. Um, we get a lot of requests for wellness experiences, cooking classes, gastronomic experiences. Um, but the excursions are always going to be very dependent on the atoll and the resort that you book. Howard, obviously, I, I think I'm right in saying that if a client is staying, for example, at the Conrad, he can't then travel for a wellness experience yes. at the one and only. It's it's not logistically possible. Yes, it, it's a, it's quite the challenge. It is quite the challenge. And uh, because of the logistics, the time and so on. I mean, it's not to say anything is impossible, but it, it doesn't make sense at certain times. Yeah. So that's why it's really important for you guys um, to reach out to our team. They've been really well um, trained on the destination. Of course, we have our team in the Maldives as well, who are the experts. But it's it's really important that we know what your clients like when they travel, what specifically they're looking for. Are they coming just to chill, relax and detach from um, their normal routine? Or are they looking for a resort with 10 incredible Michelin star restaurants? And then based on their requirements, we can suggest top three resorts for you to present to them. So we put a little slide together on good to know. Um, maybe these are some questions you've had or your clients have asked you, but um, I'll ask the question and then we've got Howard here to kind of explain. So Howard, first question we think about, and these are questions guys that we've received from travel advisors and clients themselves direct. So if it's raining in one at all, does that mean it's raining everywhere in the Maldives? No, that is not the case. And that also leads to a bit of confusion because especially with the seaplanes, what can happen is uh, it's quite sunny in Mali, but it's raining in the atoll that they are going to, which means a seaplane might not be able to fly at that moment. So, yeah, no, it, uh, it, 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 it doesn't. It can actually even rain between. You can see it raining the next island or in another island, but not in yours. Okay. It's very really tropical. Perfect. Average length of stay. Um, what do you guys see as the average length of stay in the Maldives? So, I mean, I think from the US clientele, what we see is purely also because US doesn't have a lot of holidays like some of the Europeans and all do. So we see seven to nine days kind of thing as a max uh, not not necessarily a, a lot, not too many come more than that. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then just to touch on that, um, yeah, our average itinerary for Dubai and Maldives is usually 10 nights. The clients are doing okay. three, maybe yeah. four nights in Dubai and Abu Dhabi, and then five, six, up to seven nights they attach the Maldives. Okay. Next one. Um, this is a good question for me, actually. Can we go island hopping? Uh, yeah, so the thing is, island hopping is a great thought. It's it's a lovely thing, but it's not necessarily the uh, the possible because okay, so it's like say Conrad has a stunning underwater restaurant, and you're staying at uh, at the Nautilus, but it's not possible for you to fly all the way to Conrad for lunch or dinner and then come back again because it's just too far apart. Uh, so you have limitations like that uh, and so on. If you're going island hopping, maybe from within the atoll or something like that, that is, is something which can be organized. But of course, it comes with a fairly high price tag because it means chartering a boat. It's a private boat and so on. You don't get uh, uh, a transfer system between islands as such. Uh, that Because to the, again, that is also because the resorts want to maintain privacy. Okay. And then, Howard, I'm just going to rush through the next questions because I'm conscious of yes. time. So with the excursions, yeah. we spoke about that in the previous slide. And then when it comes yeah. to top resorts for families and top resorts, adults only, reach out to us. We've got so many options just for families, for adults only, and, and we'll be able to guide you based on all the other factors we discussed as well. Yeah. 
So very quickly, as a Dubai-based DMC with a lovely office in the Maldives, I can't do this presentation without mentioning my favorite city, Dubai. So we do highly recommend that you combine the destinations, even though we love selling our destinations as single de as, uh, destinations. We have a lot of um, suggested itineraries that you can share with your clients, but ultimately everything we do is tailor-made. Um, so just to give you an idea, we highly recommend three to five nights in Dubai. We would organize your VIP meeting group services in Dubai airport and premium transfers. Um, we recommend for our US clients a stay in downtown Dubai usually. For touring, it's great to be in the heart of all the action. Um, we can do a fantastic custom-made tour of Dubai, whether it's four hours, full day, you name it, we can plan it for your clients. Go and see the desert. Here we've got a lovely picture of Dominic's family who were recently in the Dubai desert with us. Um, they did our overnight camping. They did the June buggies. They did the beautiful um, lavish dinner in the desert. So the, the desert is, is such a unique experience. We can take you to Abu Dhabi. And then, of course, pre or post, we organize your um, stay in the Maldives as well. So, yeah, please really do keep that in mind with your clients who are looking to come to the Maldives to suggest adding on Dubai as well to add so much value to their trip. When I follow up with you, I will be sending you our Arabian Adventures Bespoke Experiences brochure. This goes into further detail about all of the incredible experiences we can organize for you in our destinations. Um, so please do take a look. Uh, please do share it with your clients to inspire travel and inspire um, their next trip. Thank you so much. We can't wait to welcome you. This is Iris and I in the office. Sometimes we'd rather be with Howard in the beautiful Maldives. But it's all good. We love Dubai as well. We love being in the office. But yes, I'll be following up with you. And please, uh, Dominique, open up the, the forum to any questions that people may have. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for this wonderful presentation and really well detailed. Even for me, I, did, I learned a lot of things about the Maldives and all the results. So thank you. And thank you, Award. Uh, Shall I stop sharing? I'll stop sharing, maybe. There yeah, you go. And I love your question about the weather. If it's raining, I would. I would have not guessed that it's not raining in one island and another one. So, no, it's uh, so Litton has a question, uh, but I think you respond most of it. Uh, how to book? We book through you. You're going to send, you can, Litton, you can all send me the email or you send it directly to Sebastiano and Iris. Or if you have already, you will send you all the email, email that you have shown on the picture. Huh? Voilà. So, so also, it looks like a commission paid to home base agent. Yes. And but yeah, that's absolutely fine. Voila. And there is something a... I didn't mention. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Dominique. No, no. And there is a question about can they book you basically through a, a tour operator in the US? Do you work already with some tour operator in the US who are using you for the Maldives? Huh? It's another so, or you go to the DMC was... directly, or you ask your uh, local tour operator and they you know work with their po local partner. So it's an interesting one. So Janice, we do work with them, but actually not in the Maldives. So we work with them uh, for their Dubai land services. And then I believe they have a different partner in the Maldives or they have their own contracts. So when it comes to the Maldives, given our strong competitive contracts, mm -hmm. I do always say to people, the agents to come to us direct. Yeah. Whilst our relationships with our US tour operators for a Dubai perspective is great because you have all the land services. Sometimes the tour operator is combining Dubai with another destination that we don't cover. So sometimes I do understand the tour operator for the UAE piece. Mm -hmm. But I think for the commission that you offer, I think that should be the good reason to go uh, directly. Huh? Yeah. Litton also want to have an, an idea, an average cost for a family sharing an overwater bungalow, a two to four guests, something more affordable. What would be an average uh, award or... What would you say? It's tough. Um, I know it might not be, but uh, an average, I have no idea. Huh? Um, I mean, Howard, do you, do you want to take this one first? And then I yeah. will... Um, yeah, explain. so basically, that's a very tough one because it depends on the period. It depends on what they like. Yeah. Uh, you see, and this is why it is very good to talk to someone from uh, Arabian Adventures and so on, because if it's always easier when you have a budget, 
and when you are able to explain what you you know because otherwise yeah. what i tell you can put the person off to immediately think it's too expensive and so on so yeah. before you answer that it's always good to understand a little more about mm -hmm. what they are looking for what they can afford so that then we can explain and say because the like uh, like Sebastiano said, right? 130 resorts in various categories. We only featured just a, I mean, it's a bare few mm -hmm. uh, of 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 what of the portfolio. But and that portfolio ranges from very because one thing I must say about the Maldives, the service level is very good. So even in your three star, four star kind of resort, it's a very good service level, and you get good value for money. Okay. It's a very good service level. Well, so there is always something for a family. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Like, Angela, you want to know, do the hotel transfer align with arriving and departing international flight? How long is a typical layover at Malay prior to the hotel transfer? Great question. And definitely one for Howard. This is a <laughs> daily job, <laughs> yeah. coordinating yeah. the flights. <laughs> right. Yes. Yeah. So, I mean... Uh, in, if it's a seaplane, they, you know, all the companies, they try as much as possible to keep the layover to as little as possible. But it can be somewhere from about one and a half, two hours to maybe three hours or so. Unless you're going on a domestic flight to a very far region mm -hmm. where then it's very scheduled flights and so on that, that come in. So mm -hmm. some of those you can have a, a, a longer layover. But if it's within a seaplane transfer uh, ride and so on, it will usually be in under under two and a half to three hours. It will be you will be transferred. Perfect. And can I just add to that, Angela? When you are booking an Emirates flight from Dubai to Maldives, best advice is to book an earlier flight. That gives your clients the flexibility to then make sure they get their seaplane or speedboat. As Howard mentioned, you never know what's going to happen with the seaplanes. Maybe yes. there's bad weather. The weather will pass. They can get the seaplane later. So I always yeah. recommend to travel advisors book the early flight. Mm -hmm. yeah. Very good. All right, Lethan again. If book can, uh, if book can clients make payment on the entire booking to the Maldives, and how far in advance a final payment is required to be paid in full? Really depends on the on the contract that we have in place. So and the and the seasonality, we have bookings where the client has to pay in full seven days before they're arriving. We have some hotels which work to a strict forty five day prepayment plan. So it's yeah. all case by case um, and seasonality. How would you agree with that? Exactly, because uh, especially if it's during peak and the very uber luxury resorts and so on, because of their limited inventory, they are very careful in how they manage it yeah and also one thing i want to mention guys is sometimes um when you're going on our booking tool or when you're looking on the hotel website you're not going to find rates because as howard just mentioned you've got very particular product in the maldives um we as arabian adventures we can always source the rate for you it's always going to be a great net rate so always, that's why it's always best to reach out to the reservations team and myself direct so we go and do the work for you Perfect. Thank you. I don't see any other questions. So I also would like to mention that we have a really nice uh, platform called www.letsconnect365.com. So you can book another Zoom, 15 minute Zoom meeting with the team and you can bring your clients in and imagine, for example, the webinar you have with a choice of all the hotels and why this one would be best and so on. And then I'm sure at the end of the Zoom, uh, it's done. Booking is confirmed. Huh? So don't hesitate yeah. to bring your clients in. And uh, this is again, uh, let's connect 365.com. The, I, again, we know more questions. So we can say uh, thank you to everyone who joined us today and to our beautiful team from uh, Dubai and, uh, and the Maldives. And uh, you will be sending the recording to everyone. As a reminder, the recording of all the webinars are always on our Dominique Debay Collection YouTube channel in case you have missed uh, some of them. I see another message. Irene, great presentation. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot to all of you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Bye, everyone. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank Bye. you so much, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.